Okay, today I'm getting uh, started on improving the vapor gutter on the afterburner for the jet cart. So over here, I've got the afterburner ticking off and I've been going through various versions of a vapor gutter. Um, the vapor gutter uh, turbulates the air uh, to slow the velocity of the air to improve the combustion of the uh, flame in the burner. So it's very important and it's, uh, it's critical. Uh, it's critical that it is the right shape and, uh, and does its job or else the flame will just blow out the tailpipe. So right now I've got the burner cut apart. And basically I've been 3D printing versions of the flame holder and uh, setting them in here just to get an idea of what they'll look like. And you can see I've made a couple out of steel so far. So this is just uh, three quarter by one eighth uh, angle iron. And this was in there originally, and this didn't work so well. As you can see in the last video, it, it lights, but it, 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 the flame keeps going out. So I don't, it's, the flame's just not anchoring to the, uh, to the vapor gutter here. So I've three printed rings like this. Uh, we've done some cones that go right on the fuel nozzle there. Uh, some smaller, smaller ones. And I just made this one, but I made it a bit too big. So I'm gonna go uh, cut it apart and uh, make this a bit smaller. You can see um, the cutaway here. So like I said, the, the straight section and cone are cut off here. We can see the turbine wheel and we can see the first part of the vapor gutter. And then here's uh, the second part. And this will mount with tabs to the sidewall here, but this is too big. We're gonna make this just a bit smaller um, and we'll make it out of steel. And then we'll give this a shot. This should work good. So I've cut up uh, the old version of the vapor gutter and cleaned it off. And I 3D printed this piece here, which is a template that I can place over these pieces. This is for the smaller version, the, the new version. New version. Place it on top, and then I can take a marker and mark out exactly the shape that this needs to be. And then I can cut that off with the angle grinder right here. Uh, and that should give us the perfect shape since we have one of the pieces right here. And then we'll weld it together and see how it looks. I got this new vapor gutter cut and lined up here. This looks really good. I used my uh, 3D printed template here and uh, got them lined up quite nicely. And uh, they make that nice shape there. So I got the welder out and we'll uh, tack this together and uh, fit it up. Okay, I got this all tacked up and uh, here it's sitting in here. That looks good, that looks like about the right size. So now we gotta make the inner one as well. Okay, I got the gutter all welded up. Need to grind it down still, but just to see how it fits. Let's see. Yeah, that looks about good spacing, uh, good size. So we'll go ahead and we'll grind this down and clean it up a bit. And then we'll get this mounted right in here like this. Okay, I got these tabs welded on here and we're just gonna center this up now on here and then once it's centered take the marker and just mark where we need to cut it and we'll cut those and then we should be able to slide this guy in so i got the uh cone mounted back on just loosely under the turbine i got these tabs cut and i just have it shoved in right now it's loose I'm just getting a, a look at uh, how it fits and it looks good so i think we'll go ahead and we'll just tack these guys in place here oops one two three uh, and then we'll make the second ring. Okay, I finished the part for the nozzle section, welded it on. Now we just have to install it in here. Okay, that's installed there, so that's how the new vapor gutter looks. Pretty pleased with that. We'll, uh, we'll fire it up without the this section on it. See if the flame anchors to this and how it looks. And once that's good, then we'll weld this back on and we'll should have a good afterburner here. Okay, we're at the shop now. We've got the cart all strapped down. We're about to do a test fire with the cone off. So let's fire it up.
great run. Uh, we saw the burner works. Flame anchors right to the holder, which is good. Now we're gonna tack the cone on and give it another shot. We got the battery on the charger now. Gonna uh, refuel and try again. All right, so we're just gonna tack the uh, nose cone to the uh, flange here. We're just gonna tack it together. We're not gonna fully weld it. We just wanna test it out. So let's do that. Okay, we've got the pipe back on here. It's just tacked on. Uh, we didn't fully weld it. So let's fire it up, see how it looks with the pipe. Okay, you got the jet put away. It worked really good. So uh, next step is gonna be to weld up the rest of this uh, afterburner here. It's just tacked now, like I said, so we'll just weld that up. Uh, and then we'll make some more improvements. Uh, but for now, this thing's working really good. It's awesome. See you on the next one.